Manual Blood Pressure Cuff with a Stethoscope by Paramed. A side mominometer can be used both in a doctor's office and at home to measure blood pressure. The Paramed cuff is very comfortable and simple to use. A stethoscope, which immediately simplifies the use of this device, is included. How to prepare the device. A side mominometer is composed of a cuff with tubes, an air pump, a manometer, a regulation key, and a storage case. The device must be assembled prior to use. Attach the manometer to the cuff using the tubes. We also recommend inserting the cuff's edge into a special D-ring. Do not touch it after completing this step. Place the cuff in front of you so that the ring is in front. Insert the cuff's edge so that it's inside the ring. The special seal on the edge will prevent the cuff from falling out of the ring. How to put the cuff on correctly. You can put the cuff on your arm yourself or with someone's help. We recommend putting it on your left arm, two to three centimeters, one inch, above your elbow. Pay attention to where the cuff's tubes are. They should run along the center of your arm. Look for the word artery on the cuff for orientation. Wrap the cuff around your arm so that you can fit one finger between the cuff and your arm and attach it with Velcro. The manometer has a special fastening tool so that you can attach it in a place that's comfortable for you. For example, if you're measuring someone else's blood pressure, it's convenient for the readout to be at eye level so that you can carefully monitor the pressure gauge. If you're measuring your own blood pressure, you can similarly use this fastening tool to place the manometer so that it's comfortable for you. How to use a Sigma manometer correctly. Put the stethoscope on and place the head on your humeral artery, a bit above the elbow joint facing the body where the artery usually runs. You can secure the stethoscope using the cuff. Quickly fill the cuff with air until it reaches your typical upper pressure reading with an additional 30 mmHg. Then stop pumping in air. Start letting air out of the cuff so that the manometer's arrow descends two to three marks per second. At the same time, Listen to your heartbeat using the stethoscope. When your heart beats, the arrow usually makes a short, abrupt jump. Note the pressure when you first hear your heartbeat. This is the upper or systolic pressure number. Note the pressure when the sound stops. This is the lower or diastolic pressure number. Then release the rest of the air from the cuff. After using the device, you should return it to the case it will always be ready for use. We recommend writing down your measurements, which will help you and your doctor analyze your health. How to calibrate the device using the key. If the manometer's arrow is not in the small rectangle, it needs to be adjusted. Insert the key that came with the device into the air guard opening and gently turn it. If you turn the key clockwise, the arrow will move left. If you turn it counterclockwise, it will move right. Once the arrow is within the rectangle, remove and store the key. This regulation will not cause an error in your results. Please note, you can never turn the key a full cycle. Such action will damage the mechanism. How to obtain correct measurements. To obtain objective measurements, you need to follow some guidelines. Never measure blood pressure under the following circumstances right after taking a shower or bath, right after drinking coffee or tea, right after drinking alcohol or smoking, right after physical exercise. We recommend waiting 30 minutes before measuring blood pressure after the aforementioned situations. It's similarly important to use the Sigma manometer correctly. Pay attention to these rules. Don't put the cuff on with artery behind your arm. Don't measure your blood pressure several times in a row without removing the cuff. Don't let the tubes get pinched when putting the device away. Paramed will be your reliable assistant for blood pressure measurements. Use it comfortably, be healthy, and stay safe.